What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about Terra Luna Classic. Now, there's a lot of um, talk that's going on with different proposals, different focus that we have. And, you know, we're focusing on a lot of things. But I would like to say, as you probably saw in the title, burns are not the most important thing for Terra Luna Classic. I think they're very important for the future of Terra Luna Classic. But the point is, is that the future is not the most important thing for Terra Luna Classic at least to the community. And you can correct me if I'm wrong and it probably doesn't make sense to you. You're like, what are you even talking about? The future is not important to Terra Luna Classic. It seems like a lot of people are stuck in the in that now phase. You know, and it's and it's good that we are because we're trying to dig our way out of this hole of this downward spiral that we did have of this crash. Um, so in order to do that, you need to put the right people in place. You need to pay the right people. You need to have the right action plan. You need to have the right actions that you're actually taking on that action plan. Um, and you just need to have the right community behind it and community together. So uh, right now it looks like we have a couple of things that are sort of dividing the community. And I'm not going to get into those things, you know, heavily. I just want to talk about really the difference between you know, the future value and what we're looking at with future value things versus the here and now that eventually does affect the future value, but um, uh, that's down the road. So I wanted to get into this and it's probably not fully making sense to you guys. So I hope that I can break it all down exactly where I'm going with this. Um, but hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you could hit that notification bell for more videos like this one, please do so. Um, also, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, Feel free to follow me on Twitter at Perry AK. You can follow me over there. Now, I know there's a ton of support for uh, things that are affecting the future value, like seeing burns, consistent burns, like seeing <clears throat> um, a build of utility, a start of some sort of new utility, right? And then, you know, seeing that flourish into something way bigger. Um, but then we have main focus um, right now where it's around this four million dollars is around paying the devs is around getting the right people in place which in turn does affect the long-term value does affect that future value of everything but it's more or less about the here and now you're trying to get this get this situated so that they can make these decisions in the end and if you put the right people in place it makes it easier to make those decisions uh down the road but i think um certain things we do need to focus um on together we need to focus on something that can we can establish something now so that we can see it affect the future value not only just you know paying the devs and you know getting the right people in place but also i think establishing the burns right establishing burns on um not only on chain which we have which is great we established it but seeing that CEXs don't control everything and making sure that CEXs know that they don't control everything that happens with the project, we need to find a way to get them to burn 0.2%. That's what the that's what the community wanted. Um, community voted for 99%, right? To change it from 1.2 to 2.2%. So we're trying to get the CEXs on board. And if you didn't know from Twitter, you know, I posted a bunch of stuff about this. So I posted um, this right here, which is sort of a proposal to get all CEXs on board. And yes, we're not getting much traction from CEXs. We really only have like CoinIn and uh, a couple of other exchanges, uh, smaller exchanges, not in the top 20. But we need to see that 0.2% in order to see those burns. But the community cares more about what's happening here and now um, and how we can get the right people in place, which in turn, again, does in fact or does affect the um, the long-term uh, growth potential and value of the project. It's just, I think if we're looking to get this back to where it was and not just worry about getting the people in place, um, I think we need those burns to also happen. So focus needs to be over here as well as planting that seed with the first CEX in the top 20 that can uh, burn the 0.2%. We have Binance that's doing something, but understand that they're doing the bare minimum and and they're doing it by burning their own fees but essentially um they weren't going to if everybody went through binance convert they wouldn't have any fees anyways so people are paying those fees out of their pocket in order to burn off terra luna classic when they could have went through um the binance convert feature and got it for free now i'm not saying they should do that 
Um, if you want to save money, you should save money. But um, what I'm saying is that every CEX should offer the same thing. If we all offer the 0.2%, then we're going to see burns that are happening no matter what. However, Terra Luna Classic is extremely popular. So if everybody offers the same thing, then they can't be competitive. You're just going to go to who you can go to and MEXC can't compete with um, Binance or Gate.io can't compete with Binance or Gate.io can't compete with KuCoin and things like that. So burns for a lot of the community is put on the back burner. And yes, people do support it. 735 likes. I appreciate that. Um, all of the retweets. I do appreciate that seeing bit true, um, or not bit true, seeing a couple of things jump on board, uh, which I don't remember which platform it was one of them. It was another platform that jumped on the, uh, 0.2%, uh, right here, light bit, dot eu and then also seeing coin in do it as well um they've been really on it since the beginning mexc has been one that has supported that as well and i expected them to jump on it because they have supported that in the past and just saying that you commit to it doesn't mean that you're actually going to do it unless the top 20 do it as well so um that's a little bit weird for me but uh the the problem that i'm having here is that um i think we need to focus on multiple things. Um, and yes, the main focus is around um, getting the right people in place. And if we can get the right people in place, making sure making sure that people are happy, that's really setting the foundation for where things are going to go, who's gonna be creating these proposals and backing these proposals, and what support the community will give to those people. That's obviously a big deal, and I'm all for that. Um, but what I'm saying is that while we're also doing that, I think burns need to be a little bit more, a little bit more important. We focused on burns in the beginning. We've got this past. Everybody was all in on that. And then all of a sudden, with what happened with Binance, it seems like after the boycott Binance phase or movement, um, it seems like every other um, influencer or whatever you want to call them um, on YouTube and, and Twitter and everything is coming out and supporting everything that Binance is doing, the ground, uh, worshiping the ground that Binance walks on, when in reality, they're not doing um, even close to what we expected them to do. And we're supposed to just be happy with what what's happening here. You know, I'm not. And you obviously know that by the things that I'm putting out. But I'm not getting any bites. I'm not getting any type of nibbles on any of these. I do have a lot of support. So thank you to the community. But there's nothing further than this. And I wanted to give it like two months and I'm still going to try and give it uh, a little bit of time to go through this, keep posting it and, you know, try and get at least one exchange, one of the top 20 exchanges to, um, you know, agree to what we have here, which is implementing the 0.2% um, if the top 20 implement the 0.2%. That's all I'm asking for. It's not saying that you have to do it. If all of the top 20 don't do it, then you don't have to do it. But what I'm saying is that if you believe in what this could be, then, you know, commit to it. So anyways, guys, uh, Burns, yes, put on the back burner. But uh, uh, I think we're not really uh, truly focused on that right now. We're focused on more or less what's happening here and now. Um, and uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I just feel like there has to be a little bit of multitasking, even though I'm a person that says multitasking doesn't exist. Just uh, dual focus. Let's call it that. Anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter if you want any of these updates. I'll catch you guys in the next video.